check, one, check. Check, check, check. believe that God can do a miracle today? How many believe in the very power of God on the campus here at Christian Life Center today with all these wonderful people? We've come here for a purpose today. We've come here for the reason of the fact that we're losing too many people to addiction. So many in this crowd have been affected directly and indirectly from the loved ones that we have, the loved ones that we know, those that we have lost to addiction and those that are still struggling. The purpose here today is to bring awareness that there's an answer. There's an answer to the problem. There's a solution. And what the faith-based community of recovery has continued to offer is a personal relationship with God. That when we step into that personal space with Him, something magical happens. Something supernatural. And it changes our lives. So many have been affected because of their relationship with Christ. Let's come together today as we have marched from the township field to here. And let's share the resources. Let's share the love of God with everybody on this campus. That anybody that walks through that is hurting today, that needs an answer, that needs hope again back in their lives, the families that are struggling with loved ones. Let's offer that today to them. I think we've got a great opportunity right here. Maybe the best opportunity that this ministry of CLPRM has ever had to reach the community of Ben Salem. I thank God for the local officials that we do have here today. Mayor DiGirolamo was across the street. District Attorney Matt Weintraub, State Representative Gene DiGirolamo. Yes. They're believing. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. What's your name? Councilman Ed. Took major. So they're believing that something is happening here or they wouldn't be here. This is not to gain recognition for anybody, but it's to come together as a community, to unite together for one purpose, and that's to help people. So let's pray as we continue. We're going to have an opening ceremony in just a moment, but let's let's just pray and and just ask for God to work amongst the people today. Anybody that would be coming through looking for resources and hope again as we continue today. Ministry leaders, can we just gather up front? Anybody that's a ministry leader, come up front, please. Scott. Team leaders, please. Pam. Andy, Gary, bring the banner up here if you have to. Scott, Robert Whitley, Matthew, Pastor Jacob, come on in. I think one of the best things that I experienced now in these past few years in this community of people, and there's, there's leadership here, there's leadership out there is that we're really showing sincere compassion for these people. It's not about like putting on an event and trying to bring as many people as you can and all that kind of stuff, man. We just want to help people. And we are really making a difference in this community. And I thank God for the leadership that we have around this ministry, that we can continue to push forward and strive forward and push through the obstacles that allow us to get to a place where we can help one person. That one person 
helps another person. And then that one help person helps another person. And before you know it, you've got this amazing domino effect of people that are willing to serve Hallelujah. in the community. Woo! Because we've all been helped at one point or another. I was incarcerated and I gave my heart to Jesus in a prison chapel in October of 1997. That's what set me on a course for today to be like it is for me personally. And yet I get to have all these wonderful people around us to walk in accordance to God's will today. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. We're going to have an opening ceremony. We're going to hear from some of the local officials today. We'll hear from great testimonies of God's grace today. We'll hear some wonderful music from Living Song and Santos and Dana Isles inside the building. There's some wonderful things happening on this campus today. Don't let this scare you all. It actually is a little refreshing, isn't it? After 100 degree weather this week. So let's enjoy it, man. Let's take it all in. And let's give God glory. Amen? Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for the wonderful grace you have shown everybody on this campus. And we do pray for everyone that will enter onto that stage today or inside that building that you would be magnified and glorified through that. Help us with the resources and, and things that we need, Lord, to continue to help people in the township of Ben Salem and surrounding communities. We continue to reach out for those that are struggling with addiction and those that are incarcerated. That you give us the wisdom and discernment, Lord, to, to use all the necessary resources that we have uh, been able to gain today for every sponsor that's on this campus today. And I think of the the, the ones that really helped us tremendously in Pocono Mountain and Huntington Creek and Recover Centers of America and Transformations and Addiction Campuses and Ambassadors for Christ and Speak Life and oh my goodness, so many. The list goes on and on. 107.5 Alive and Self Help Movement and Acts of Grace Church and Woodside Church and Ben Salem Police Department. Township, Liberty Ministries. Lord, you touch every one of them today. Thank you for their generosity today to allow us to, to build that scholarship fund to help people throughout the year. We just pray, Lord, that you be glorified today through everything that will happen on this campus in these next few hours. We thank you for your love and your grace, your tenderness. We pray for our children right now that are out there. I pray for my son, Ryan, who should be here today, but he has decided not to because of addiction. Pray for those that are, have loved ones that are struggling. In this circle of influence right on this campus, that we lift up a hedge of protection around our kids right now, that you would cover them, Father God, that you would put the hedge around them. And for those that have lost loved ones here, we pray for our comfort and a peace that would surround them and lead them and guide them to them, To give a word of hope and encouragement to someone else who may be struggling. You be glorified. You be magnified. Thank you for the artists today and Living Song and Dana and Santos. And just praying for so many things to happen. We're believing in miracles today. Thank you for my partner, Nancy, that she has worked tremendously to be a part of this event and coordinate and just work on every detail, her and her husband, Joe. And so where will we be without the people that God has put in our lives to walk us along this path? Father, we love you and we honor you and we give you this day. We ask those things in the mighty, mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Amen. And everybody that can say amen, amen. say amen. 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 Can you do a song? Can you guys do a song?